The first known Stone Age tools and possible portable rock art discovered were approximately three million years old. For millions of years, animals crossed the Bering Land Bridge from Siberia into North America. Prehistoric man has always migrated following food sources, so it's only logical that hominids also crossed over during the last two million years. Inaccurate accounts of history has been due to the lack of archeological or scientific evidence, political or religious agendas, and racist stereotyping. The nearly 100-year-old Clovis first predominant theory is the belief that humans first existed in North America approximately 13,000 years ago. There is no particular reason to think that North America was first colonized after the last ice age rather than before. Right now, the struggle is trying to date this, the site. We have a theory that these rocks are um, representative of a uh, pre-Clovis type occupation, just based on the, the crudeness of the design and some of the research that we've seen online. Additionally, some of the rocks depict megafauna that's extinct now. For example, we see mastodons and things like that in the rocks. And also there's a absence of any pottery whatsoever. And um, really the few tools that we found are very, very primitive and they're more consistent with the tools you see at, at like pre-Clovis sites. I dated them by, I think there's the ice age. And so I'm dating it at the, the least possible age because I'm not trying to inflate nothing, you know? And so I'm conservative in my dating, you know? And, and I'm thinking it's 10 to 15,000 years. I really don't know, to tell you the truth. Okay. They were uh, civilization probably 5,000 years ago, but yet I found stone implements there that seem to predate that, uh, very possibly the archaic period. We think people have been here a lot, a shitload longer than what our, what we've been told. Well, yeah. I mean, they found a, a mastodon in, in San Diego that was carbon ratio dated at 130,000 years ago, and there are percussion marks in the bones, only attributed to man. But with portable rock art, they could have had a piece in the family or in the tribe for tens of thousands of years, for all we know, and it's scattered here among more recent pieces done 1,200, 1,300 years ago. Unlike a petroglyphic rock, where you're looking at perhaps a, one plane, a singular double image, here we're looking at multi-dimensional rock that's portable, and uh, we could have a piece from thousands of years ago sitting next to a piece from a thousand years ago. How much more do they have wrong in school and the history books and things? We want to prove our theory that people have been in Michigan, North America, um, a lot longer. More of the history, more of the story yeah, that can yeah, be told yeah. with this. So right now the theory is people migrated into the Americas through the Bering Strait about 13,000 years ago. They call it the Clovis First um, period. We're finding things that probably say that people have been here a lot longer. Um, one of the things that we're finding that occur over and over again consistently. If you look at that, again, you're going to say, oh my God, it's just a rock. But if you ever seen a mastodon or a mammoth, mm -hmm. you have a trunk, you have a head, that is clearly mm -hmm. a mammoth or a mastodon, which they went extinct about 11,000 years and ago. And that's the time frame that a lot of these are, are coming from. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. the, the Pleistocene megafauna, which are the large animals of the Ice Age, came to North America millions of years ago. People followed big game, you know, that's what they ate. So people probably came over much earlier than 13,000 years ago. Well, I've got evidence of one and a half million years of occupation here. If we're talking right before the glaciers came here, you know, I think it was a pretty prime place to be. And then as the glaciers came in, I think that people just kind of, you know, did the best they could for a yeah. long time. This is, the history books out. really tackle like pre-glacial, you know, North America. Because it's so hard to tackle pre-glacial. It literally was the largest erasure that came through, you yeah. know, and just demolished all kinds of things. Yeah. They call them, uh, you know, uh, a conveyor belt of pulverizing rock. A lot of things got swept underneath the rug, and and. Uh, uh, doing this, I've been to the libraries and I tried to order uh, things, uh, 
literature and things on there, there there's literally nothing there's literally nothing and the things there is is like they made it up uh, what they thought it, it could have been like or something just to sell the book the museum people they just laugh at you and and say nobody was here and it's all what your evidence they won't even consider it or look at it or even come out and look at it because you know they've already determined that it's not possible but you know america has the the richest soil of any country in the entire world and so people were always here yeah they, they, like a man told me you know man, man's been on earth you know forever and rocks has been on earth forever and then that's all they had was rocks so how do you find it you know uh, unbelievable to find all these things so it's old i just don't, I don't know how old but it's old there's a lot of there's a lot of questions i'd love to have answers to we just gotta get the smart enough people that can help us out with it hopefully